Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm delighted, as always. always. To be, always delighted to be joined by Mr. Lee Eaton. Lee, uh, first and foremost, I've seen you in the bubble, so I'm going to ask anyway, how are you? I'm very well, mate. It's been um, it's been a stressful week, but listen, we're here. It's fight night. We're ready to go. Fight night. I mean, good card on. Tonight we've got Lewis Crocker, WBO European title fight against uh, LB. I'm going to say, I hope I said that right. LB. I was going to say Iqbal, but he's, he was, he's been taking off. Dennis Ilbay. Dennis Ilbay, 22. You break down the card. Lewis, top, actually, we're going to start from the bottom, yeah? We're going to go GB Jordan Reynolds debut against Robbie Chapman, former Southern Area uh, title challenger. Then we're going to go to Mace Rarig, who's in his full fight. Oh, and then we're going to go into GB's Carl Fowl, making his professional debut against 4-0 Jordan Dujon. Then we're going to have Isaac Lowe in a six-rounder just to dust off some cobwebs. But Ed, Harris, Ed Harrison, it's his little world title fight, so he's going to come and, come and have a go. Um, then we go into Gary Cully, uh, WBO European title uh, against Victor Kotachigov. Um, a very tough fight for Gary, but one I believe he comes through. I hope, anyway. Um, it's been it'd be quite good to see Gary win his first title. Obviously, I've matched him since he was. I think he was five and zero. Um, so for his last seven fights, I've matched. Um, so it's good to see him in his first title. Hopefully, he wins and moves on. And then we have got Lewis Crocker versus Dennis Ilbay. Dennis Ilbay is a tough little. Beep. Um, Obviously, he's he went eight rounds with the beast from the east, the uh, Kalinowskis. I think it's. I can't remember just to say it, but doing well with these names, yeah, they'll so, give you that. Um, yeah, he, he's he's tough as anything. So Lewis Crocker's an exceptional talent. So I believe Lewis, uh, if he can stop him, it's a great great win. So um, yeah, no, it's a good little card. Um, we've lost uh, we lost a couple of fights, had a few headaches, uh, hiccups along the way, but listen, we got there in the end. I'm looking forward to it. These bubbles and stuff like that are headaches and stuff like that, obviously with restrictions and testing and all this sort of stuff, but this is a, probably a, I don't know, ninth or tenth one maybe, I think, but are you used to it by now? I've lost count, uh, but yeah, listen, you got to get used to it. They are headaches, um, obviously with um, bringing foreign fighters over, uh, obviously when you've got to be in the bubble by a Wednesday, the latest, so the other day obviously we, we had a fighter turn up and the night before, he spilled a boiling hot kettle down his chest. Um, so it was um, a, a Nicaraguan. So he's turned up, ready to fight, and I've looked at him and said, no way, you can't fight like that, that's just no good. So I had to ring up Ed, um, Levi Dunn, he was in Mount Curtis Gargano, I rang him up and said, look, I need you here within an hour, you've already went on my way. Mm. So big up Levi Dunn and Curtis Gargano, two legends. Um, so yeah, obviously... The lifeblood of the sport, them journeymen, aren't they? A hundred percent. But listen, with obviously, normally on a show, you've got till Friday to match people if the worst comes to worst. But not with this, because you've got to imagine by the Wednesday, because you've got to have them uh, COVID tested, then the weigh-ins on the Thursday. So there is restrictions, but um, you just got to go with it, go with the flow and do the best you can. That's all you can do. We've seen two weeks ago, we had another great card in Sean McComb and Gavin Gwynn uh, and stuff like that. Again, this week, another great card. 50-50 fights up and down the card, apart from the debuts. But in fact, the debuts are actually much tough, to be honest. Yeah, let's not go. Let's not say that's uh, a given. Do you know what I mean? And then next week, Lee McGregor finally, finally get it on. Let's wrap them up in cotton wool. Bubble wrap them up. Let's just keep them safe and hopefully they we get this fight on finally because this is the fourth time. Fourth time lucky. Yeah, just quickly, go back to the debutants. Um, Jordan Reynolds is fighting a 6-6 six and six kid, but he's fought for a Southern Area title. This is his professional debut. Cole Fowles fighting a 4-0 and o kid. That ain't no easy. No, no, no. That ain't no easy debut. So um, it's always listen. We pride ourselves on doing 50-50 fights. You've seen in our last card, which got obviously massive ratings, up and down the card from top to bottom. It's always 50-50s. That's the main f aim we're trying to do. Trying to please the fans and, and obviously do good fights for the shows. Um, obviously next week, Lee McGregor, Kareem Griffey. Thank God it's finally happening. Obviously, just still. I won't believe it till they're both in the bubble. They're both COVID free. Um, so next Tuesday will be the day for me. Um, and then I'll have a sigh of relief. Um, told Kareem to lay off the training, just chill out. Told Lee to just go wrap himself in his quilt and stay in the bed for a few days. 
Um, unbelievable card next week. Um, unbelievable. We've got, obviously, Kareem Griefy versus Lee McGregor for the EBU title. And then one that I'm really buzzing for, Maxi Hughes, my little lockdown mate. Uh, obviously, since August, he's had an unbelievable um, lockdown. He's um, fighting for the British title. The British title is his world title. So I'm over the moon for uh, Maxi. When he, if he wins that, which I'm confident he wins the British title, I'm going to be I'm probably just as happy as him for that. So, um, and then obviously we've got um, pa Patrick McCory versus Jermaine Brown, two unbeaten fighters, very, very good fight. Jamie Robinson versus Billy Allerton, which is a great fight. Um, adding, hopefully adding Sahir Rick Bell, because obviously due to injury to Liam Wells this week, he's had to come off this card. So hopefully adding him. Um, then we've got the, the debut of Paul Ryan on the card. Um, there's another fight. Oh no, Lee, you've been doing so well. Don't fuck oh, up now. No, mate, I've, my mind's gone blank. I'm, I apologise, but um, listen, it, we've got so many fights. I've got so many fights in the end. I'm doing Aprils, I'm doing Mays, I'm doing Junes at the minute. So, But yeah, this is um, a great, great card up, uh, up and down for next week. So I'm really looking forward to it. You, you mentioned April, June and that. We're going to see a card in April. Have you got any news on that in terms of date, when in April and any fights you're going to put on that? Yeah, I've done a really. I've signed a really good fight for the top of the bill. Obviously, I can't mention it involves Danny Dignam against the top twenty in a, in box rec um, in the world. So Danny Dignam's big chance to shine is against a very very tough fighter who's fought in a world title eliminators and stuff like that. So that, it's Danny's time to shine. Really, um, a big opportunity for him. Um, and they'll, Dan Aziz will be on the card um, defending his English title against Ricky Summers and and uh, Brit British title eliminator. Um, also, is a great eight rounder. A couple of good prospects. Um, a world rated fighter will be making his MTK debut. Um, so yeah, there's a few a few things. But stay tuned till next week. We'll have that out next week. Obviously, it's it's fight day. This interview will be going out in the next hour or so. So um, we'll need to get ready and stuff like that. You've always a busy man. You're always busy. But you threw down a challenge to Mr. Eddie Hearn. What's the challenge? But Look into that camera and tell him. Burger wings and ribs. Cheeseburger challenge. Are you ready, Ed, or what? We're, I'm ready. <laughs> My money's on you, Lee. My name's Eaton for a reason. Look at me. No one's beating me. In a, you might be a better promoter. You might be a bigger promoter, but we're not, we're not beating me in a burger challenge. Burger wings and ribs. Follow it on Instagram. There we have it, Lee. Let's go and get ready, my man. Uh, and thank you again for doing this AFL TV. I'll get you a post fight interview. Did you beat Tyson Fury yesterday in, in ping pong? Mm, yes, sir. Oh, so did I. Uh, did, uh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done. I'm, I was going to say I'm two and zero against uh, professional I, fighters, I, I, but I've not, I've not heard you say that before. But guess who? Guess, guess who? Ryan guess, guess, no, Ryan Garcia. But guess who beat me in, in Texas? Who beat you in Texas? Liam Smith, and he gave me a tight on uh, Instagram saying, "Am I not a professional fighter?" Because I forgot that he beat me out in Texas. Oh, so. so, so you've been spouting that you're an undefeated, but really you you've been lost. Undefeated in 2021. Go on, I'll let you go. There you go. Lee, thanks, brother. Yeah, See you soon, my man. Thank you.